Hey guys, Double Wide 6 here, and I have a solenoid from a tractor. And today's video, uh, I'm just going to show you in a wiring diagram format how a solenoid actually works for a tractor. And we're also going to bench test this thing and fire it up, and uh, we'll show you how that works as well. So, as far as the wiring schematic, um, the first thing that you actually have in the circuit is just a 12 volt battery. So positive, negative, your standard tractor battery. And from there, um, we have a switch. The switch is your key ignition. So we'll call that key ignition. And then from your key ignition, the next thing that you have is your solenoid and we're just gonna make a big happy smiley face you'll notice that the uh, the solenoid kinda looks like this it has two post terminals and then a little spade connector so that's what you're seeing there and then the last part of the circuit is actually the uh, starter the electric starter that turns the flywheel on your engine and the starter has a lug nut on the side. So the way the system actually works <clears throat> is you, you turn your key ignition so when the key is actually engaged so we'll, we'll close those two contacts that's what will happen when you turn the key and off the key a wire comes down here that sends 12 volts to the tab on the solenoid okay now the battery also has to be hooked up here as well so coming out of the positive of the battery you have your positive terminal going to one side of your solenoid and <clears throat> What happens is when your when your key is turned on, it sends 12 volts down to this little spade. And once the 12 volts is spent is sent down there to that little spade connector, there's an electromagnetic switch here that closes off these two terminals. So it allows your 12 volts from your battery to now bypass or, or pass through I should say right through from this terminal to the other terminal and that power is then brought out to the starter I didn't mention it but this side of the battery is grounded so what happens is when the key shuts 12 volts are sent here and what that allows is that allows the solenoid to be closed so 12 volts can flow through there and then coming off this last terminal 12 volts goes directly to your starter the starter sprocket pops up and turns your flywheel and starts your engine so that's basically what it looks like as a wiring diagram now we're going to head over to the bench and we will wire one up so to bench test this thing, what I'm going to be using is just a DC power supply. So this is a little power supply that I built myself. And uh, if we turn this thing on, I actually have it hooked up up here to my, my little microwave panel. So hang on. Uh... Alright, so we'll set that for six minutes. There we go. Now we're cooking. Alright, so what that, that'll just send power over here. So if I turn this thing on, zoom in for you, you can see I got it set somewhere around 12 and a half volts, 13 volts, that should be good. And uh, so we have our DC power, and then we have our solenoid right here. I have nothing hooked up yet. So to bench test this thing to see if it's working, what you can do is you need to hook up a ground 
to the bottom so here's my ground coming off my power supply and <clears throat> you need to hook up your 12 volts so if I put 12 volts on this little spade connector there um, we should hear a click ready that's the click of the electromagnets in here making that solenoid uh, make contact from post one to post two so um, if we look at this thing with my multimeter there is no continuity we'll turn this on hopefully you can see the screen there is no continuity between these two terminals alright see how it says one now I'll leave that alone and we're going to hook up our 12 volts and when we hook up the 12 volts you hear the little plunger in there move and you can see we have continuity so really it's a lot like a, a relay it's basically just a switch and uh, from there one of these leads as I said in the drawing would go would would go from the positive to the battery so your battery positives always come into this post but it isn't coming out this post until you turn the key and this little terminal gets 12 volts and then at that point the wire goes off that side and it'll turn the starter that'll turn your flywheel um, one thing that's that's pretty common that that people do they shouldn't really do but if if you have a solenoid that that is not working or you suspect that a lot of people will take like a screwdriver and they you can arc it in between there okay and, and basically what you're doing is you're kind of making a little switch there uh, you're, you're connecting the terminals so sometimes people do that but it, it's really not that safe because it causes a spark and usually your solenoid is right next to your gas tank so hopefully uh, this video helps you out a little bit if you're troubleshooting a tractor or you have a solenoid that's not working because it is a pretty common part that uh, goes bad in tractors and at the bottom of this video I will put a link to where you can get a tractor solenoid if that's your problem so anyhow thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time I have a video and if you like this one you can give it a thumbs up have a great weekend.